everybody welcome to this hands on lab we will guide you through the process of deploying your very own private ethereum blockchain using docker compose so ethereum is a leading blockchain platform and uh, with docker we can make the setup process smooth and efficient by the end of this lab you will have the fully functional private ethereum network running on your machine so yeah let's dive in and get started with this lab objective says that let's create a private ethereum blockchain on docker we will use docker compose and to build and manage it so starting with step one we will use get which is go ethereum a go implementation of ethereum client you can refer to this documentation to explore more now moving to step two which is the first step of our uh, perf uh, performing this lab so yeah first we need to pull the get image get docker image so we will use docker pull command please make sure that you have performed docker basics and docker compose lab first before coming to this lab so yeah we will use this command to pull the go get image it's doing so after this when the docker image is being pulled successfully actually it's by default runs in the background it by default runs the get so by running the image with help argument uh, we will check help option for get client will have multiple options so yeah so you can see there are multiple options that we can use and also the explanation of the options what they do is given you can explore these now we can also run it without any argument if we want to run the client but that won't provide us a complete setup required for local deployment so we can use docker run command for that for running the complete environment now uh, to create a complete setup for this lab we need three nodes first one is boot node second is json rpc uh, endpoint and third is miner so we will see what these are first one is boot node so boot node is basically for peer to peer connecting you can say we use boot node for peer discovery basically other clients other ethereum clients so by default it listens on 30303 port when a new ethereum client needs to connect to boot node before it can become a part of the network now json what is json rpc endpoint this exposes json rpc api over http on port 8545 this is the default port for this this api is needed by wallet like metamask we use for connecting to ethereum network there are many wallet other than metamask as well but metamask is the default or the most used wallet you can say there are many apps now what is miner so as the name suggests it does mining or create new blocks on the blockchain so in the real world implementation we need multiple miners but this is for our test implementation one is sufficient now moving to step 9 so to save our time and effort in writing all the files step by step all the code one by one we have already created a template code in a github repository so we can easily pull that code or we can create a clone of that code and use that so that we can save our time so yeah we are in vs code tab so that we can use the vs code terminal which is more stable to use yeah now open the terminal we will uh, use git clone command as you can see now we have a folder ethereum blockchain setup you can see multiple files in this I'll explain the use of every file one by one. So starting with genesis.json. So this defines us. Uh, let's open this file. Okay. So you can see this is the file genesis.json. This defines the genesis block and other initialization information. So we are using click algorithm. This is, this is proof of authority. So you can refer to this documentation to explore more about it. You will get what each line is doing in this uh, file. You will get information in this official documentation. You can always refer to documentation because it will provide um, every command, everything need to debug the code. 
now moving to step 12 step 12 says about genesis underscore pow dot json file so this is also a genesis file basically but this is used for ithash algorithm which is proof of work so it is provided here just for your reference it won't be used in this lab so you can check the official documentation of this as well to understand what each line is doing now moving to docker file so docker file is well commented uh, file you can check every line of code and understand what this code is doing by the comments but this docker file is used for the network for deploying smart contract and running transaction we will need to have a pre funded address and a genesis.json this docker file will help us to create our own docker image with a genesis file and two accounts if you don't understand any code please refer to this comments as well now moving to docker compose.yml so this file is uh, used or you can say this file will help us in creating the network the network uh, this is a network with all the required parameter as i said we need three things rpc node boot node and minor node so this is uh, the file which is mainly responsible for creating this network now moving to step 15 it says let's now create our personal docker image from get official image so let's go to the terminal and get inside our folder so i'll use cd change directory command and i'll get into the folder now we will run this command we are using progress equals to play in option you can run it without as well so now you can see that this is running properly we want to uh, we want a output uh, of the last uh, step this step that we performed if you if you have used or we have used build command without this progress plane option you won't see this output so in that case run this command if you don't see the output like this so that in that case run this command you will see the output like this or now in the doc output of docker build you should be able to see similar output like this json in this there are the public keys of the two accounts created for i use the first key is here you can see address is 8386cb and the second is here 7699 so these are what we are using in this lab now moving to step 18 now our image is ready let's run docker compose compose to bring up the setup so we will use docker compose up command these commands are already being explained in docker compose basics and docker basics you can check that as well so our container is up and running let's test uh, let's check the listening port on our local host we will open an another uh, terminal leave it running yeah so here it is you can see multiple tcp that are listening now let's query our json rpc http now you will get to know what is the use of this cheat sheet.txt so in this cheat sheet.txt there are multiple commands to check all the created accounts are working properly or not or you can check the balance you can get the address of created account you can check the balance of every account so i'll try with the first command i'll copy the whole command move to our folder ethereum now copy paste this command you will i am expecting two addresses from this command as we created two accounts here so i am expecting two addresses as a result of this command so let's run it yeah you can see that there are two addresses available in hacks the addresses we created in previous command the accounts we created in previous account with id equals to 1 and json rpc so which means this query runs properly now let's check the balance of our first account this is a general command please replace your account address with these here i am replacing it with my first address yeah done. now i 
it now as a result you can see the balance of your account and id become 2 so which means that our json rpc uh, http endpoint are working properly now move to step 21 similarly we can run the second command we already did the step we have run the first command we have run the second command and we are almost done with this lab so congratulations you have successfully completed the deployment of your private ethereum blockchain using docker compose you have learned how to pull the get docker image customize your own docker image and set up nodes for peer discovery json rpc access and mining So this hands-on experience will serve you as a valuable foundation for your exploration of blockchain technology. Thank you for joining us in this lab.